Madam Chair of the Board of Trustees of Aegis Trust, dear Jenny Holson, dear friend Alice Derito, Special Envoy of the UN Secretary General on the Prevention of Genocide Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. It's my first visit to this country, a special country, as just graciously and powerfully mentioned by Madam Ambassador of Sweden in her last day here. And uh, I was really very touched emotionally and rationally by the as short as intense visit I had the opportunity to share with many of you yesterday to a special place, two special places, and I would like to start from that. The first visit was to the land, it's simply land now, where the Isoko Peace Institute is going to be constructed. I learn a lot. I learn, as a linguist by background, I'm very much convinced that language matters always, that isoko, with a long vowel, which is the right pronunciation, I suppose, means uh, springs, source, the root of everything we can do. In this case, specifically, I think that this institute is supposed to become the source of knowledge research new additional important pieces of what we are building together to build resilience and to make active peace in the coming, in the coming months and years from Rwanda to the world. And the second meaning of Isoko with a short vowel means market, a place uh, where people meet and greet and exchange. And this is a, another a dimension I think is very much needed in what we are building together once again. It's about going in a very special place, in a very special country, which has to deal with the violent past and which has to reduce, I just greatly mentioned, the path to, from atrocity and dehumanization and to empower and make longer and stronger the path to a different future for the next generations. So I start from this uh, point because I think that the connection between UNESCO, its constitution, which was written and adopted by member states in the aftermath of the Second World, another tragic moment for Europe and the world, is really very much aligned with this principle. As a uh, the world is uh, constructed and built in the man's mind. It's in the man's mind that we have to build a defense for peace. And that's the simple message that I wish to share with you as a commitment from UNESCO to be a strong ally in this uh, ambitious plan. A second uh, quite emotional moment yesterday for me and many of, of you was uh, the visit to Nyamata, one of the four memorial sites which are now currently inscribed in the list of UNESCO World Heritage. And this is an important point. This is an important moment in history because this is the recognition that these places are not simply crucially places where you go and you see the translation of what you read, what you heard from books and uh, very many important academic debates, but you see where atrocity and dehumanization can reach out. So it's about uh, you know, reviving the emotions, but it's very much, I think, most importantly, making these places as, uh, you know, living libraries, living uh, academic uh, uh, production of knowledge, research. I suppose uh, in this beautiful audience this morning is also sitting my compatriot, Emanaldi, who's uh, an active member of uh, ECOM, which is an alliance uh, 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 very much important uh, globally to make museums and uh, 
memorials, places where you can learn, you can produce research, and you can bring the product and the results of this work outside these places. And this brings me to the second point. The second point is this, once again, the alliance of UNESCO, which is uh, the only international UN agency specialized in e-education. That's my sector, my responsibility, and my commitment in life, let's say, as kindly reminded, and culture and the sciences. And this is the magic combination that we can and we must together build around this, uh, let's say, very fortunate and very unique moment in history where a new institute is to be, to be constructed and we are very committed to be part of this process somehow. And uh, the historical sites of uh, Rwanda have been inscribed in the prestigious, important, unique cultural heritage list of UNESCO. So connecting these dots and making, Madam Chair, AG's trust, commitment, the government of Rwanda commitment, our Director General, by the way, visited this country twice in the last eight months. It's not usual <laughs> and normal as you can imagine. It's a great, important sign of the political uh, you know, engagement we have. And of course, last but not least, the alliance that is very much naturally bringing together Alice and the Ritu office and herself, she's taking the floor uh, in a few minutes, and UNESCO on another part of the story, which is uh, using education and all the tools we have uh, to combat hate speech, to combat mis disinformation, to combat uh, all the, let's say, poisoning, uh, you know, uh, cultural uh, misleading messages that the young generation and all of us as citizens are surrounded by. And uh, I do believe that uh, all what we are doing here all what we are, can do together in the coming months and years uh, at the end of the day is building the citizenship that this world needs, is building the sense of awareness, knowledge, and behaviors that the new global citizens of the world will be able to translate in their own commitment to make this world better, stronger, and a peaceful place. So thanks once again for having us and count on UNESCO from Isoko, Isoko, and uh, Niamata sites to work together. I thank you very much.